Welcome back to the Be Dynamic Podcast. I'm your host, Darnisha, and I'm so glad to see you guys back with me once again. Happy Monday. We're like 75% through October. I hope that it's going well for y'all. This week, we're going to discuss a topic that I've had like in the draft for a while, but I just really didn't know when was the right time to discuss this topic. And honestly, I didn't even know if I wanted to discuss this topic just because it's personal for me, but I also realized that it's personal for a lot of other people too. Like, wow, as millennials, we really, we go through this. So, um, I sent out a text message to some of my friends and my family and I was basically just asking them to tell me something that you've had to grow through. Now, my original plan with that content was not this podcast episode, but the answers that I received multiple times was just confirmation that, hey, we need to, we need to talk about this. Maybe this is something we need to just go ahead and bring to the pot. So um, I'm going to share with you guys a couple of the responses that I received. So one person said realizing some friendships relationships weren't best for me but accepting and learning from them another person said another person said that they had to grow through tough situations like losing friends and realizing that maybe it could have it maybe it could have worked out or they could have been friends again but it's just something they didn't want to do so one person said Something I've had to grow through is losing close friends that I thought would be or I wanted to be around forever, but I learned that life is about letting go in order to receive what you really have waiting on you on the other side of that, and life has been flowing in a beautiful direction since. It's just learning how not to feel bad for letting go because maybe what I think is serving me isn't. So I think this is just a great way to segue into this podcast episode. Um... Friendship grief is real. You don't just be friends with somebody for years and years and then y'all not friends because of a situation that happened and then you're just automatically okay. That's not how it works. Especially if y'all were like best friends, close friends, did everything together, talked to each other all the time. It's not so easy to get over not having that friend in your life. So I just want to discuss a few topics related to friendship grief um, and also share my personal realization about losing friends. So first of all, it's very important to understand friendship grief. It's the same as losing a relationship. When you lose that partner that you thought you were going to be with forever, but then y'all end up not working out, you feel this heartbreak. You feel like dang like a disappointment you feel the same way when you lose a friend because I wanted that friend to be my number one bridesmaid I wanted that friend to be the auntie to my child like we have so many plans in our heads for our friends and then when we lose them of course it's gonna hurt it's gonna give you a feeling of grief a feeling of loss you're gonna just feel like you have lost somebody so important to you So you first want to identify, like, are you in the midst of friendship grief? Like, are you grieving a friendship? Because if you don't know that you're grieving, you won't know how to handle it. And you could just spiral. Like, some friends will break up and just be all on social media. They be all on social media talking about each other, subtweeting, like, throwing shade here and there. When, baby, you miss that friend. You're doing all this, but you miss your friend. And we can tell. (laughs) We can tell on the outside that you are missing your friend. But it's important to identify, like, you're going through something. And maybe you just need to handle that situation and heal from that before you go on and hop back into the social media world where y'all used to communicate friendly, but now y'all are bickering at each other, right? Me personally, I also have noticed 
And I think it's very important to identify this as well. Identify the triggers that make you want to, that remind you of that friend or that make you want to reach out to that friend. Like I've had big situations happen in my life over the past few years and some people that I'm not friends with anymore, I'd be like, oh my gosh, I really wish I could call her. Like, I really wish I had her to talk to because, you know, your friends, you have some friends who are going to support you even through your stupid stuff that you do. You just got some people who just going to listen to you. But if y'all aren't friends anymore, those big grand things happening in life, it will trigger you to think like, oh, I need to reach out to them. Oh, I want to talk to them. When really they might not be, they might not be a person that you need to keep in your life. Like not saying that y'all have to be on bad terms, but this may not be a person that you need to continue to share your business with, share your life with. It can just be a cordial thing, but that doesn't change the fact that it hurts, right? It doesn't change the fact that you miss this person and you miss the relationship that you guys had. But it's important to remember the emotional, mental impact that the friendship had on you. So me personally, um, one big friendship that I lost, friends for a very long time. But as this friend was going through things in life, it was kind of weighing heavy on me. And honestly, at that time, I did not know how to handle that. I did not know how to be okay in my world and then try to help you in your world and then get slapped in the face with words that were said. Like, I just didn't know how to handle that. So I just, we just stopped being friends. And we haven't been since then. But I had to learn, like, just because I have these big um, events happening in life that I want to share with her or talk to her about, I have to remember how I felt when I finally decided, like, okay, I'm done. Like, what, whatever made me feel like that, I need to remember that. Because although people can change, the fact that you did something like this or you said something like this it shows who you are. It shows who you truly are. Um, so just remember your mental health, your emotional well-being, it matters. And you shouldn't have to jeopardize that to be friends with somebody. Like, <laughs> we got so much going on in life. The last thing we need is a friend to jeopardize the well-being of your mental health and your emotions. That's the last thing you need, right? Right. So just remember the impact that it had on you. Um, the next thing I want to discuss is accepting that the friendship is over and healing from it. It's going to take a lot of self-reflection and self-compassion. Number one, self-reflection. Sometimes it wasn't always the friend. It was you. And that's okay. Because I feel like with my the friendships that I've lost, yeah, I had a little bit to do with it. Like... I was not super mature in the situation. Maybe I could have handled it different, but it is what it is also. Like, I'm not going to beat myself up, like, and say, this is my fault. We're the reason. I'm the reason that we're not friends, period. Like, you did nothing. But I'm going to I'm gonna understand that I had a little to do with it, and you had a little to do with it as well. Um, and just... After reflecting on that, just figure out how you can do better in your current friendships and your future friendships. Don't beat yourself up over the things that you did or didn't do, could have done better. Because like I say, like I say all the time, you're not the person you are right now. You weren't that person back then. So just accept it. Be okay with it. It's going to take time, but don't beat yourself up over situations that happened in the past. Seeking support, I think that utilizing your other friendships to support you through the grief of losing another friend, it truly helps because now if you have good friends, I don't know. It's some it's some friends out there, like, of course, they try to tell you what you want to hear. But if you have some friends that's going to tell you what you need to hear, it'll help a lot because I honestly don't feel like I would have 
figured out where I was wrong in certain friendships, certain situations. I don't think I would have figured out where I was wrong if I didn't discuss the situations with my other friends and actually get some support from them on how to handle it, how to go about it and help me just make decisions on what I should do in this friendship. So having that support system, it really does matter and it really does help. Um, It also helps build and strengthen those relationships or those friendships that you have because you guys are able to discuss like, hey, you didn't like this from this friend, so I'm going to make sure that I don't do that to you or I'm going to make sure that I don't make you feel that way ever. It's just being aware of being aware of the things that you're able to accept and not accept sharing that with your other friends. Don't be afraid to discuss it. Although it might be hurtful, it's good to discuss it. You don't want to just hold all that anger inside because you can just, it can end up spilling over into your other friendships when it's kind of like some untargeted shots. Like I didn't do nothing to you, you know, but you don't want to end up, having like a domino effect with your friendships because you're um, afraid to discuss what happened or work through what happened in past friendships. When I think about how I got through losing friends or how I get through it, it's just, it's definitely having my current friends there, building, strengthening our relationships but it's also nourishing new friendships and being open to new people in my life, Um, which is hard because after somebody, it's just like a relationship, literally. After somebody hurts you, it's so hard to open up to somebody new. Like, oh my gosh, now I got to trust somebody else with my business. Now I got to trust somebody else with me. Like, it's hard. But... Being open-minded about new friendships and letting new people in, it can help. It really helped me, like, get over it. Because, I mean, what else are you going to do? I'm not going to keep letting, especially a friend. I do feel like, personally, we have higher expectations for our friends than we do, like, our romantic partners. I don't I don't know. It's a double standard, but, Yeah. <laughs> For sure, because I'm not going to let my friend, I don't know. I don't know why I think like that. Most of us think like that, I know, but I don't understand. Like, if my friend hurts me, I take that more serious than a man hurting me. Like, I don't know. I just, that's a man. You my friend. Like, (laughs) you're not supposed to be doing that. So, I don't know. But, um... Yeah, that was so off topic. But I just feel like we we do that a lot. We just, we hold our friends to a higher standard. It's it's just true. It's just our way of life. Um, Maintaining your boundaries is super important as well. But you first have to establish your boundaries before trying to maintain them. Because how are people going to know that you don't like to be called or talked to before 10 a.m. if you don't say something (laughs) like how are we supposed to know that how are we supposed to know that this is your time if you don't say something and then when we interrupt you or we somehow break that boundary you're upset but you never established a boundary to begin with let me give you an example my friends (laughs) they know that especially in group chat stuff like this I will react, you know, the little reactions to a text message. I read the whole conversation, react to every uh, message that was said, and I might reply one thing. But they they know that they accept that from me because I've told them, like, I'm at work. I'm at work or I'm doing something. So when I get a little chance, I'm going to respond with my little reactions and I'm going to go back and do what I was doing. But they understand that, they respect that, they don't beat me up over it. They make jokes, of course, but they don't down me for it. They understand that I got a lot going on, and sometimes that's all I can do is hit the little reaction button and keep on going. Let you know that I saw it, 
I'm acknowledging you, but right now I just can't respond. Um, but they accept that from me and they don't beat me up over it. And somewhat to me, that's a boundary because if you were to come to me and say, Oh, you never, you don't talk to us. You don't care about us. I'm like, what? I, I mean, I be at work. Like what you want from me? I'm going to just feel like you don't care about what I got going on and you want me to be there for you a hundred percent of the time. And that's impossible. <laughs> and it's totally impossible. But the point is make your friends aware. <clears throat> like I'll say I'm at work. I can't respond. Um, uh, but that's crazy. That's funny. Like I'll say something. You have to make people aware of your boundaries before actually trying to maintain them. And I'm a firm believer that people can change. This is the Be Dynamic podcast. People can change. However, you also have the choice to accept someone's change or not. Like you have that power. You have that choice. Just like one of my friends said, I'm going to pull it back up. She said, yeah, she just said she didn't want to be friends anymore. And that's totally fine. Like, you don't have to. It's not saying like, okay, if this person changes, y'all got to be friends again. No, that's not true. Like, and it's not even the fear of having it happen again. It's just you y'all not the same person she's not the same person you're not the same person and maybe you just don't even want to maybe you don't like the new person that your friend has changed into that's quite possible like I've had friends it's like two totally different people like <laughs> and that's cool no judgment here but it's two totally different people and it's like this new person I would never be friends with anyway so it's cool like we not we don't even click anymore so that's fine and maybe me the new person I am this person would never be friends with in the first place so that's cool but you the the point is you have the choice although people can change cool but you have the choice if you want to be friends with that person again or just leave them in the past and that's okay instead of being caught up in the past in those failed friendships I'm not going to say fail. I'm going to say those friendships that ended. <laughs> Invest your time and your efforts into your new friendships. Use what you've learned from those situations of the past friends. Use what you learned in your new friendships and just try to make those relationships work as much as you can. Invite new people in and just use what you learn along the way. That's that's what it's all about. This life is a journey. We're going to lose friends. We're going to lose more friends on the way. Like most of us are only 20 something. This is nothing. Like the friends we lost is probably nothing. I see a lot of older people and they only have a few friends, literally. And we started with so many. It's okay. We have to learn how to work through that. We have to learn how to be okay with that. Figure out who we are. Figure out what we want to accept. And just embrace our new friendships that we have and continue to build the current friendships that we have. One quote that I saw says, a good friend can never truly be lost. And this is not to say that the friend you had was never good, but maybe just over time that friend wasn't good for you. And it's okay to let that friend go. If somebody has shown you that they're unable to grow where you're going, well, you know that that person was just for a season. They were just a seasonal person and appreciate that season you had and don't be afraid to create new memories, new friendships with others. You may even meet some more seasonal people. Just be okay with it. I don't think everybody's forever. And that's even in the sense of losing a friend, literally like them passing or something. Just know that everybody isn't forever. And we have to learn how to be okay with that. Learn how to move through it. Um, but a true friend can never be lost. It's always a reason for something. It's the purpose and everything. Maybe that person was holding you back. Maybe you wouldn't be where you are if that friend was still here. Um, because our friends do have an influence on us, whether we believe it or not. 
And there were many times where, like I said, I wanted to reach out to my friends that I lost and try to reconnect. But I'll look and I'll just be like, these, they're not even the same. They're not even the same people. Like, if I saw this person today, I probably wouldn't pick them as a friend. So, why even bring myself back to that situation? Friendship grief is real. It takes time to get over it. Don't beat yourself up. But also hold yourself accountable for the actions that, the part you played in the situation. Yeah. Yeah. And just embrace your friends you got now. That's the biggest thing. Like, look at the friends you have right now. I bet they're a good part of your journey. And just keep embracing it. Keep loving on them friends like never before. And we're going to leave the past in the past. We're going to leave the past in the past. I hope that you guys enjoyed this episode of the Be Dynamic Podcast. I hope that you relate it. I hope that it's going to help you through your friendship grief. Um, if you have any, any similar situations, please leave that down in the comments below. Let's talk about it. Um, like the video. If you're watching on YouTube, subscribe on YouTube and all your streaming platforms. Be sure to check out our website, www.dynamicxfashion.com. We do have some new drops coming, so y'all be on the lookout. And also follow us on social media as well. But that's all I got for y'all today. I'll talk to y'all later. Bye. I hope you learn to make it on your own. And if you let yourself, just know you'll never be alone. I hope that you get everything.